Hey everyone, happy Purim. Um, if you can hear the clicking in the background, it's my toaster oven and making the cookies. Um, yeah, so I thought I would do a quick little book haul because I went to the used bookstore and I actually found a bunch of stuff. So I'm really happy about it. Um, so yeah, I'll just jump in. So China uh, Meville is an author I wanted to try and they had one book, which is The Scar. And it says, Aboard a vast seafaring vessel, a band of prisoners and slaves, their bodies remade into grotesque biological oddities, is being transported to a fledging colony of New Crobuzon. They are joined by a handful of travelers, each with a reason for fleeing the city. When the ship is besieged by pirates on the swollen ocean, the senior officers are executed. The surviving passengers are brought to Armada, a city constructed from the hulls of stolen ships a floating, landless mass whose bizarre leaders harbor a sinister agenda. So that sounds really cool. Um, just the premise, you know, there's pirates, and there's a city made of abandoned ships. I really like the setting already. So this is what the book looks like. And that's China, Meville's The Scar. Okay, then on Waiting Moose channel, Erin's channel, she runs a book club on Goodreads, and there's two picks. There's a thriller and a romance. I thought I would go out of my comfort zone and try the romance. Um, so this is in this is the author that she's using, but not the book of the month. And it's Do You Want to Start a Scandal by Tessa Dare. <laughs> this is what it looks like. And yeah, it seems like a very fluffy romance novel so I'm not gonna read the plot because or the synopsis because I mean most romances are pretty similar so we'll see what this one does. Then to my surprise I found a copy of Waste and Choi's The Jade Peony. This is a book I read when I was in university and it is a coming-of-age novel. It's by a Canadian author and it's about a Chinese family uh, growing up in Vancouver. And this book has, if I recall correctly, the three perspectives of the children, and the next book, All That Matters, is the perspective of one of the children. And yeah, this was really good. It takes place in the late 1930s and 40s, and it's just full of culture, and it's just a lovely, lovely coming-of-age story. So if you can get your hands on this one, I would really recommend it. It was one of those books that really stuck with me. So I was really happy to see it. Then I saw a Joe Hill book, 20th Century Ghosts. This is, as far as I know, a collection of his short stories, and I think this might be his first book that he got published. I have his other stuff on my shelf behind me, um, but I haven't actually read this one. Let me just take a quick peek here. Yeah, it looks like it's a bunch of short stories, so that's exciting get to see what that's like. I'm not too thrilled about the cover, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. And then back to Erin's channel, she's discussing the second book in a series by um, Linwood Barkley, and it just sounded really good. I like the descriptions and stuff, so I thought I would go to the bookstore and see if they had anything by that author. So I went and went to the section and there was nothing. So I was like, okay, so I looked for some other authors. And in totally the wrong spot was a Linwood Barclay, and it was the one that I was hoping to find, which is Broken Promise. So this is a thriller, and I don't know anything about it. I'm just going to read the back for you. After his wife's death and the collapse of his newspaper, David Harwood has no choice but to uproot his nine-year-old son and move back into his childhood home in Promise Falls, New York. David believes his life is in free fall, and he can't find a way to stop his descent. Then he comes across a family secret of epic proportions. A year after a devastating miscarriage, David's cousin Marla has continued to struggle. But when David's mother asks him to check on her, he's horrified to discover that she's been secretly raising a child who is not her own. A baby she claims was a gift from an angel left on her porch. When the baby's real mother is found murdered, David can't help wanting to piece together what happened, even if it means pro proving his own cousin's guilt. But as he uncovers each piece of evidence, David realizes that Marla's mysterious child is just the tip of the iceberg. Other strange things are happening. Animals are found ritually slaughtered. 
An ominous abandoned Ferris wheel seems to stand as a warning that something dark has infected Promise Falls, and someone has decided that the entire town must pay for its sins of its past in blood. So, really happy to see this in trade paperback, my favorite format, and it's in really good condition. Um, and yeah, I paid six fifty for it, so that's not bad actually. It says it's supposed to be twenty three dollars, brand new, so it's pretty good. So that's my small little book haul. Uh, let me know if you've read any of these books and what you thought of them. And yeah, hope you guys have a great Purim and I'll talk to you guys later.